firstly, I uh, uh, want to give thanks to God, Monte, for making this happen again after so many times trying. And uh, I want to also thank you for giving me the opportunity, giving me the platform that I can be able to um, tell my story to people out there. And uh, well, many people who, who cares. So, my name is Lira, Lira Doma. Lira Jiblo Doma is my full name. And um, I'm a 27 years old college dropout. I'm from West Africa, Liberia, to be precise. I'm a father of two. And right now I'm in the UAE. I've, I've been in the UAE for the past like nine to 10 months. I've been working here. And uh, so it hasn't, it hasn't been easy, but at least by the grace of God, I've been managing. And that's it. Okay. Hey, uh, okay. So I know that the, the big problem for you right now is it, it the contract and, and the, the work didn't, didn't turn out to be as, as good for you as, as lucrative and, and you're basically kind of pinned down. You can't get out of there. You'd like to get back to Liberia at least initially, and then resume your plans to maybe, you know, get to United States or Canada or Europe. I don't know where you would prefer to go. You can discuss that. But um, so I looked into the cost of flying just from there to Liberia, and it's about, I think, $500 US. Um, I could be wrong. I mean, there was different prices depending on the day you fly and that sort of thing. But, um, it, you know, that would be... Um, you saving every penny you earn for the next, uh, you know, 50 days, which I don't know what it costs you to feed yourself, but I'm sure that's not realistic. Um, and, and, uh, so, uh, yeah, let's, let's talk about what you would like to do. Um, you know, if you can get the funds to get back out of the UAE and out of this terrible contract, um, uh, what, what would be your plans? What would you like to do? Okay, <clears throat> the first thing, the first thing is to find a way to get out of here, like you said, and uh, you know, I just want to leave. I just want to leave here. If 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 the if there is the option is to go back to Liberia and then we 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 consider things and then find another place to go, and that that's the main option. But if I can go back to Liberia, uh, whichever way, if I can have the funds available. I uh, can go back to Liberia and then try to rethink things over and then see if I can find somewhere better to go, that would be fine. But the situation here, you know, like I've told you before, my coming here, I didn't I didn't I didn't do a lot of research about how, how things are yet. And my expectation while I started, uh, especially from what people told me, the person that connected me to to, to 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 this area, everything the president told me, eh, most of those things they were all they were all lies. And then, yeah, I'm, yeah, I am right now. So the only thing is that I just need to leave here and then go back. Yeah, it's too difficult here. Life is too difficult. Like. Though, though I'm not I'm not from from a, from a rich background or you love love I can say love has been love has been uh, good to me in the sense that I can say um from from a very rich background where things were going easy with me back there but at least at least it's better than 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 being here my my being here you know a lot of suffering will work over time like I said we do a lot of work physical work here we do over time and then we get paid less. All these things, uh, I, don't, I, I don't really want to continue doing this thing. I want to see, I want to get out of here and then see how best to make things possible. Yeah. Um, I, I was curious about something with um, your employer or maybe employers in the UAE in general, what kind of relationship they might have with the Liberian government. Are you, are you aware of any connections? Like have they 
have they got recruiting stations in Liberia all set up so that they can basically funnel people to the UAE for work? Is that is that an ongoing thing when you were there? Uh, uh I don't not not to my knowledge, but I don't think so. I don't think so at the moment because even yeah, we don't have my country don't have a we don't have an embassy. The like we don't have an embassy. We like Greens are here, we are very few compared to all our African nationalities like 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 Nigerian, Ghanaians, all our, all our Africans. We are few here, we are not many. So my 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 coming here was it wasn't done by an agency or whatsoever. Like I said, a friend of mine that I knew back in Liberia, he managed to to come the to come this side. Some sometime I like I think like two years ago he came here and then he he he's been working here since then. That was how you know we two of us were got in in contact and then he started to tell me some things about the area that was how I ended up here. So it was not something like it was done by the UAE government or like it was between governments or whatsoever or agency or whatsoever. So not to my knowledge, I don't really think that there, there is there is a connection between the UAE government. The only thing that did, I paid some money and then get my friend, he was here, and then he got my visa done. That was how, and then I, I paid money for, for ticket. That was how I, I end up here. So I don't have any knowledge as to whether there is an agency or there is a connection between the Liberian government and the UAE government pertaining to to people coming here. Right. Excuse me. So um, it, I think it's worth uh, saying here in in this video that uh, wh when you when you were hired or recruited or whatever that uh, you you were uh, expected to. Uh, pay for all of all of the costs of getting you there for the privilege of earning ten dollars a day um is that is that about right you you like they didn't pay for anything is that correct they didn't pay for uh, i didn't get you right i'm sorry i didn't i didn't i didn't get you right come again i didn't i didn't i didn't get you right oh you didn't hear question. me right. Okay, so yeah. um, when when you were recruited to go there, you had to pay for everything yourself. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah, I, I pay for everything myself. Every, every expense that pertaining to my coming here was done by me. I pay for everything myself. How much did that cost you? Do you uh, total first total could be like one thousand five. Uh, maybe on estimate maybe like one thousand six hundred if I'm if I'm not mistaken. Because uh because I'm I the first visa that uh that I applied for because I couldn't get the funds to buy I couldn't raise the money to to get the plane ticket and so the first visa it expired, I had to reapply for another visa. So Taking all that into consideration, adding all those funds and including the plane ticket, all that stuff, it could be in in a range of maybe one thousand six hundred, one thousand five thousand six hundred altogether. Wow. And 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 what did you what did you think you would earn when you were there? I mean, it doesn't sound like a uh, a good investment. You know, if you put out that much money, you'd expect to be able to earn. Yeah better money what did they tell you when you were recruited yeah 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 like i said like i said a friend of mine told me he 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 was the one that connected me and he was the reason that i came here and when he and i used to talk back back when i was back back in Liberia, he and i used to talk most times on the internet and then he used to tell me that he's working he's spending like maybe 500 dollars us usd that's, that's what he he and I he and I when we used to talk, that was he used to tell me most most time. So he, he said like, if I come, if I manage to get here, I could I could earn similar amount. Yeah, there are there are jobs here that I could could that I could earn similar amount from from there. 
from working. So that was the main prospect. That was one of the main things, you know, like back in Africa and you you know my responsibilities, there are a lot of things. There are people, I have my kids, I have my my, my, my girlfriend, my mother, we yeah, had a lot of responsibilities. So it, it it was it was very it was very very tempting. Something that it tempted me to to, to put more effort to come here, you know, because when he told me that making five hundred dollars a month is 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 a very huge amount of money compared to people compared to Liberia. So I, uh, it was very encouraging. That was the main reason I, I I consider coming here in the first place. But my coming here after I arrived, you know, started seeing things differently and and especially due to the way I was the working condition and then the the time of work and all and everything taking that into consideration and then getting less amount being paid very low it's very frustrating it's been very frustrating up to this point so yeah yeah, yeah. are you you're sending money back home to your uh, your girlfriend and and for to help support your children is that right yeah, I'm, I'm, by the grace of God, I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. Even if if I don't, if I don't, if I don't have it to eat that much, or if I don't have it to to do other things, but well, that that that's the main thing. That's the that's the motive. That's the motive. That's the motivation for for whatsoever I'm I'm I'm, I'm into right now. They are the ones. They are the main reason. People that I love back home, my family. They are the main reason that I'm trying to push myself to do all to do all the things. So. Whichever way, or whichever means, as long as funds come in, money gets get into my hand, they are the first people that I think of because that I'm responsible for. They are the ones that look up to me one way or the other for survival. So they are the reason I'm doing this. So most times when one comes in at the end of the month, first thing first, they are the first people that I think of. And I, I have to send money. Ever since I've been here, like nine to ten months, Every month, I'll send money back one way or the other. Yeah. Hey, um, just a, a a little thing that uh, we mentioned earlier. I just thought I'd ask if you ever managed to do it. Uh, did you manage to uh, draw the the Christmas tree at Christmas, uh, like I I mentioned? Did you ever do that? I don't know why that popped into my head. I. You froze. I can't. Uh, you're. Hmm. You hear me? I can hear you. Your picture's frozen. Hello. Yeah, I can hear you fine now, but your picture's frozen. But that's okay. As long as I can hear you, that's a good thing. Good. Carry on. Oh, there you are. You're back. You're moving. Okay, uh, the Christmas tree, like I promised December, you told me, and I said I was going to enjoy it. I, I bet, I bet you the Christmas tree back then, but we were transferred from 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 the previous room we were staying because of some some the the air conditioner in that room was wasn't functioning properly. We were transferred from that room, and because of that, uh, I misplaced the Christmas tree. So I uh, was not able to 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 get it. So right now it's not with me, but I did I did do it. I can show you that I I, I drew it back then. That's cool. I'm glad you did that. That's nice. Right yeah, on. I did. I did. 